שבת מנוחה. כל העם איתן יבא יזכו לראש שמחה. In the story of the Garden of Eden, there is a very strange expression. The creation of woman is dependent upon putting man into a state of slumber. This is very different than the story in the first chapter of Breshit. There, there are, uh, man and woman are created together, but they are really no different in this pairing than the other uh, uh, animals. And they, this is, seems to be needed for a biological function, even though they were created in the image of God. There doesn't seem to be thing, anything special about their intimacy. The second story, the story of the Garden of Eden, seems to be creating a very kind of special kind of intimacy that has to do with language, conversation, and uh, a deeper sense of connection. Uh, why does the Torah talk about slumber in this context? It would seem to me that very often the self wants to be alone in the world. If we imagine the first person on earth, it, the creation of another person could be something threatening. In 20th century thought, many thought that the other was something that threatened the self or even was the inferno of the self. Uh, and this is under, can be understood when a person um, is unsure of himself and very self-conscious and very wary of his surroundings and finds it difficult to flow with reality in order to create a, a good a relationship with another person, there has to be a sense of flowing, almost a dreamlike sense of flowing in which a person is less aware of himself. And the Torah, creates this literary motif of slumber to give us the idea that in order to flow in our relationship and our deep and intimate relationships, we sometimes have to be a little less conscious of ourselves and, and uh, sort of flow in a dreamlike type of way in order to create this intimacy. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> יוצא לו לרווחה, ודור